What's going on guys, College Lefty Gaming, back at it again with the second upload of the day, some more ranked seasons highlights, enjoy. So this first game was a game I played a few days ago, which which is more of a flashback lineup I was using. Had Ken Griffey in there, and flashback lineup besides Bryce Harper, of course. And uh, this was after a disconnect, I was playing a game, I was down one nothing in like the fifth inning, and I ended up disconnecting. So then I, I couldn't end it. I couldn't end playing that way. So I joined in another game, hop into the second inning, hit a home run there with Matt Kemp. After a uh, after another base hit, we make it. He makes a diving play. I thought he was going to catch that ball, but he didn't quite get there. A little bit of a base running mishap with some slow speed on the bases. We do get to second and third there. Brian Dozier up now. All he needs is a, a ground ball. Fly ball, that will do it. Should be deep enough to score the run. 51 speed. Throws to third base. Could, I couldn't tell if I was out or safe there, honestly. I wasn't sure. But that, we take the 3-0 lead there. Then Pablo Sanchez, creative player, gets a... I don't know what even to call that. But uh, gets a double somehow. Gets on the second base. That brings up Bryce Harper and... I have no idea how this ball gets through, but it does. Like a pinball machine. But uh, we're not going to be able to score there. Too good of an arm in right field. Matt, Matt Kemp comes back up to the plate. One for one with the home run earlier. Kind of a hit and run there. Get the ground ball to second base and makes the play on the left side of the bag. Crazy, I don't, I don't know, just because I was running. Would have been an out regardless. Possibly a double play, but with Matt Kemp's speed, probably not. Here I was just trying to go home, but... The runner goes to third, runs himself into an out. We're up 5-0, though. The game's looking pretty good. Had Justin Berlander on the mound. Didn't really show too much highlights or any highlights of him pitching. The opponent only had one hit for most of this game. So I just wanted to focus more on the uh, offensive side. This was kind of a couple days ago. And you can see within the next gameplay, the next game that is posted in the same video, my approach at the plate kind of changes. I kind of had the PCI, like, in the middle of the zone or or a high in the zone during this game and I've been kind of changing my changing my approach a little bit adjust, making adjustments as I play more more ranked seasons games and and whatnot and uh yeah this was when Bryce Harper was down he was only really useful versus righties but here we hit into a crazy double play that I thought was a double play the guy actually didn't tag second base and we scored two runs on that because he thought it was a double play as well Later in the inning, hit a two-run homer with Matt Kemp, and that's all that's going to do it for him. The ball's not even going to land. It doesn't count as a home run. But uh, this is something I've kind of been working on with editing, hopping into the next game, using the screen as like an intro. So this is game two coming up here. Uh, we get 39 rating points there, so we get the points back. I was in the CS before I disconnected, lost those points. That guy was actually playing for the World Series. But, uh, yeah, after this reward, kind of get into what I was saying. This is, I actually got two rewards because of the disconnect. I still got a reward for that. If you notice, I have 193,000 subs. I sold a bunch of people, uh, but this is kind of how I'm doing it. Game two, intro, block out uh, the, the rating points in the box score. I just wanted to show you guys the record before game for each person. I know we're, I'm not able to see this beforehand, but uh, the rating, that's kind of cool to see along with the lineup as well as the, the record for each opponent. So this guy's kind of got a gold team. Pretty good team, though. Some, some budget beasts that Harmon Killebrew is a, is a power threat for sure. But here we go, are in the first inning. This is actually John Lester's, 85 John Lester's debut for the channel, which I, I really like him as well. We get an infield hit there to start off the game. I thought that was going to get up the middle. It was a power swing, but I hit it weak. The cap, the gold cap is pretty good. Shortstop with good equipment, steal second. He's got good speed, good stealing rating. This is uh, Anthony Rendon at the plate. I just picked up him in the last video. I was kind of using um, Dozier at second. I had sold Mookie Betts because on, I sold him on the hype. He had been going off, which I still expect him to get an upgrade. But we get a base hit up there. And I thought for a second I was going to get thrown out by Cespedes in right field. But the cap is uh, is fast enough. Later in the inning, get the guy to third base there. And Matt Kemp, I was looking for a low and away fastball or low and away off speed. This game's kind of like a slow pitch softball. You notice we throw a lot of off-speed pitches. I mean, it just it just seems that this game is is not even realistic to MLB as opposed to like pitch selection and what what we're what everyone's throwing in this game. A lot of off-speed pitches, a lot of changeups low, a lot of curveballs low. 
That's why I think John Lester is a pretty good pitcher. He's got a sinker, a cutter, that, those combinations mix well. I didn't really use the four scene too much. But, uh, yeah, I, I, ha I thought this was a pretty good debut game for him. He gets into a little bit of trouble here early on. After we had just scored scored some runs in the first inning, he's he's looking to bounce right back. Got a good pitch there with the changeup low. Get him to fly out there with Dozier. Dozier, that's a live series Dozier, so he hits lefties really well and hits the fastball good. Didn't want to throw him that. Throw him the fastball in that, in that situation. But there we threw a sinker, trying to mix that cutter inside and the sinker inside to try to brush him off. Get some takes some takes on that sinker. It comes into effect later on in the game. But uh, they're just manufacturing a run. We got a leadoff walk in that inning. Then uh, Bryce Harper got intentionally walked, so a couple walks there lead to a run. As you can see, 3-0, throw that big sweeping curve, just messes up the hitter's timing a little bit. You can mix in. A fastball every now and then it is a dangerous pitch anytime you throw it though it seems like it shouldn't be that way. it definitely shouldn't be that way but it seems like everyone's just throwing off speed it's all it's hard to sit back on the off speed pitches as well which uh i've been late on many off speed pitches just trying to sit back almost sitting back too much excuse me but uh yeah this john lester's pretty good i didn't really get his confidence like really high up so it wasn't like a great debut game or uh, a great sample size. I mean, he he threw a good amount of innings though. We're in the fourth inning here. Gave up an infield or a little blue pit there. I don't even know what happened on this play. I it, I think he might have been safe even if I was to flip that and then I tried to cancel the throw. It, it just was was a mess. But luckily, oh no, not luckily. I knew that was gonna hurt us. JD Martinez always kills me. He seems to get a base hit almost every time when I face him. No matter which pitches I throw, it just it doesn't matter if it's in the zone, below the zone. That's a pretty good change up there. He pulled it. Good timing. Here I'm going to the bullpen. Going with the, the slow pitch softball gods, man. Uh, Pat Neshek, Alex Wood. These guys throw really slow change ups. And, I mean, for this type of the way the game's played, those guys are really good right now. In my opinion, they're the best pitchers in the game for relievers. But uh, there he gets another run, 3-2. to two. Here, I'm going to hit him with the sweeping curve again after he had a great at-bat there with Didi Gregorius. That was like seventh or eighth pitch at the at-bat. thought he was going to get burned there. thought Bryce Harper might have got burned on that. But he did make the play. It's a close game. I mean, all these games I've been playing have been close. Yeah, I seem to blow every lead I, I can somehow. I have no idea what it is. It just seems like as the as it gets later in the game, the, the pitchers start to hang more pitches or I, I start to get worse feedback on the meter. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's stamina. Maybe it's just the way the game's played. Something that I haven't gotten too many ranked seasons games under my belt. There's a lot of people that I've played that have twice twice as many games as I do in ranked or even three times as many games where I've played people with over 100 games. I don't even have – I barely have 30 games under my belt, but I'm having a lot of fun with it even though it, it is a very frustrating game at times. Here we uh, use a little bit of speed cheese there with Lou Brock coming off the bench. Scary slide there feet first. Thought he might have been out. But, uh, yeah, that changes the whole entire inning. Just need a ground ball with Chipper Jones or a fly ball to the outfield. Doesn't even have to be that deep with 99 speed. Get the run in. Bring in the, the GOAT, Pat Neshek. And uh, Matt Kemp says, you know, you should have brought in Ken Griffey Jr. off the bench because I don't know how to play center field. I should be in right field right now. Bryce Harper should be out of the game, and Ken Griffey should be in my spot at center. That's what he's saying. So, luckily, we get the, the sinker right there, frozen. Dangerous pitch, probably the most riskiest pitch I threw in the whole game, but sometimes you got to take risks to, to try to get the win. Talked to the opponent after the game, said he hit that changeup really well, and it was a double play. So, I mean, it is what it is. We get the dub in that game. GG's to the both of the opponents in this video. Uh, Could have went either way, I felt. I mean, I made a couple errors. There was an error that I didn't show there with John Lester. But uh, I show you I show you how many rating points we're at right now. We're sitting in the championship series at 837. I'm looking to get to the World Series within the next couple days. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos, guys. That's going to do it. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace out.